Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today we have the LG Ultra Gear 32 inch 1440p LG Nano IPS display. With its IPS 1 millisecond gray to gray response time, the saturation here, like all other LG Nano IPS panels, looks amazing at any angle. And it does show that it's high quality in everything that it can do. So let's take a look at gaming here on this monitor. The amazing thing is that it can accept a 4K signal acceptance. You can see right here, 4K 60 Hertz. Many monitors cannot do that. So that's awesome to have. Also, it can do on Xbox 1440p 120 Hertz or on PlayStation 5 at 1080p at 120 Hertz because the PlayStation 5 does not have a 1440p signal until Sony updates that. Those are the two resolutions and maximum Hertz you can run on both consoles. Here with Persona 5, beautiful. The saturation looks amazing on this 32 inch. Also here with Mortal Kombat, you can see everything is beautiful. Now remember, this is an IPS panel, so contrast levels need to be kept at a minimum expectation as it is not VA or mini LED or OLED technology. IPS panels give you wide viewing angles, beautiful saturation, especially on the LG Nano IPS, but contrast always suffers and you need to come to expect that when making this decision of buying this monitor. Here showing off 120 Hertz, on the PlayStation 5, you can see here are my settings. Gamer 1, I always have that as I want the most and maximum contrast and vibrancy of an image. The image is super smooth and beautiful here at 1080p. The scaling is done right. It's done perfect. There is no issues you can see in this video. This is at 120 hertz. And sometimes it looks bigger than my Samsung Odyssey G7 or Dell S3220 DGF because it's flat and those other panels are curved. The perceived difference, it just looks about an inch bigger here on the LG. Forget about the HDR rating on this monitor. It's non-existent. It makes the images too dim for my liking. At the beginning of the PlayStation video, the image was too dark. And for the gameplay, I had to put it up to SDR mode as it was too dark for the video to record. The panel's limits here is 400 to 430 nits. And it fluctuates between SDR and HDR. But there is no local dimming to dim certain parts of the screen to make HDR more pronounced, even at the same nits level. So I would not get this whatsoever for HDR performance. Stick to SDR and you will have an amazing experience on the LG 32GP850B monitor. And you can also always check out the playlist to see more games and applications on this monitor or other monitors to help you make an awesome buying decision. So friends, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on a future LG 32GP850B video. I'll see you guys next time.